So this is a poster on ultrasound and CT imaging of sclerosing encapsulating peritonitis, also known as encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis, which I presented at Bemis in Manchester in 2014 and co-authored with Dr. Joseph, consultant radiologist at Croydon University Hospital. So, starting with the background and the case report, sclerosing encapsulating peritonitis is a rare condition with multiple causes but relatively non-specific presentation such as bowel obstruction. The imaging appearances, however, can be diagnostic. In the case report, a 74-year-old man presented with a history of obstructive jaundice a year previously. Two metal stands were placed to relieve the jaundice. Brushings were obtained, but there was no conclusive primary diagnosis, despite a high suspicion of cholangiocarcinoma. The patient continued to clinically deteriorate with little response to therapy. A follow-up ultrasound scan performed a year on from the initial presentation revealed significant ascites. The striking feature, however, was an appearance of entrapment of small bowel in mid-abdomen with a clearly identifiable membrane. So here is figure 1, the um, B-mode axial image demonstrating ascites, and then this capsule with fluid and small bowel loops within it. A CT scan was performed subsequently which showed centrally gathered and tethered encapsulated appearance of cocooned loops of small bowel. The outer membrane clearly identifiable on ultrasound was not detectable on CT. So here we've got figure 3 axial CT section showing ascites and those clustered loops of bowel will here at about mid or lower abdomen and where on ultrasound we clearly see the distinction of fluid, membrane, fluid and then small bowel loops these appearances are less easy to identify on CT. So in conclusion and discussion the precise cause of sclerosing encapsulating peritonitis is uncertain a number has been described as idiopathic, however, it has been associated with peritoneal irritation, secondary to peritoneal dialysis, ventricular peritoneal shunts or treatment with an earlier beta blocker. It is also associated with inflammatory pathology such as tuberculosis. It has been reported in patients with gastrointestinal malignancy, as in our patient. On the review of the case studies reported, we found that the ultrasound appearances we observed in our patient were easy to interpret and were highly diagnostic of SCP. Dr. Joseph has experience with two other cases of equally impressive appearances with the use of ultrasound. One was induced by Practolol and the other of no confirmed etiology. Surgery has been attempted to free loops of bowel but has a high complication rate of bowel perforation. So here are the references 